morning people how's everybody doing this morning i hope you guys are having a great day everything is going great with me so far but i'm coming live from my channel waab and i'm going to be discussing a topic this morning about toxic people and we all know at some point and have experienced uh, some relationship with someone toxic, whether it's in our family or at work or just in a store, we all have been impacted by someone that we consider toxic. These are the people who, when you're with them, they never fail to make you feel bad about yourself or say or do something that is critical of you. You could be in the best mood and have the best intentions and somehow they will cut you down, make some sarcastic remark, give you a dirty look, or accuse you of something you never did or said. They also have a way of ruining your day, your life, and your good mood. And don't you dare challenge their perception of you as something that they said you did. They'll immediately blame you and make everything your fault. And the bottom line is this. After you have spent some time with them, <laughs> you have a way of feeling lousy. You feel emotionally drained, and you can even feel <coughs> sick. Sometimes you can even feel physically sick. And this is what we refer to as people that are toxic. I looked up the word toxic, and it talks about being a poison. These people are actually poisonous to us. And I'm going to take it a step further. Uh, I got this article from um, a therapist by the name of Patricia Jones. So I'm giving a little her spiel and my spiel in this topic. So I'm going to take it a step further. The dictionary, like I said, defines poison uh, as a substance that can seriously injure an organism or destroy life. And we are organisms and we have life. So we fall in that category as can be poisoned by these toxic people. So you see, gee, toxic people can end your life because they are poisonous to us. And I started thinking about this because a lot of my, not a lot, but several of my subscribers have been uploading videos about toxic people on, in the YouTube community. And also I have found that a lot of toxic people are on other social media, medias, especially Facebook. So this started me to thinking about toxicity in people that we encounter in our lives every day and in our families. So we know that toxic people are dangerous to us. These people can be uh, annoying, obnoxious, irritating, and depressing. Let's just call it what it is. They can dampen your spirit. They can even ruin your reputation. They have, uh, I've also seen toxic people get others fired from their job. They can destroy your relationship with your husband and wives, your relatives and friends. They can just enroll your self-esteem, do havoc to your self-esteem. They can cause you to go into deep depression. They can cause you to get sick, which can take on forms like anxiety, panic attacks. Just can make your life miserable. But you say, okay, there are toxic people. How do we recognize these toxic people? Um, usually they're not hard to spot because they can make you feel so bad after being around them. And the chances are, if you've encountered uh, a toxic person, you immediately sense this essence coming from them. Their toxicity seems to just ooze from their body. Um, and these people come in all ages, colors, shapes, and sizes. And sometimes toxic people aren't 
you can't identify them immediately. But over time, you're going to see their true nature. It's going to be revealed. So I've compiled a list of some of these uh, toxic people and their basic toxic characteristics. You have the, number one, we have the so sociopath. These people have no empathy, sympathy, compassion, or conscience. They don't feel guilty, remorse, for, and never learn from their mistakes. And they even enjoy others suffering. We also call these, uh, I heard a sermon a couple of weeks ago, you call these butt people. But they can be very charming, <laughs> Char uh, have charisma, and almost cast a spell over their victims. And we're usually drawn to them. And it takes some time before you realize who they really are. They appear to be good, but in reality, they're like wolves in sheep's clothing. And they sometimes, for the most part, have two personalities. The nice one, then the evil one, behind closed doors. And they're also capable of horrendous damage wherever they go, even to the point of killing others. Most of these are abusive to their wives and children. So that's your psychopath. Then you have the pathological lawyer, liar. That's a person who lies about everything. Lying is a way of lying for them. If they're caught in a lie, they will just tell another one to come up the first one. They can look you straight in your face and lie right to you without blinking, blinking an eye. And then they'll walk away with a smug on their face uh, that they got away with it one more time. Then you have what we call the emotional wreck. It's number three, the emotional wreck. Everything this person does is high drama. And they're always upset about something or too extreme in their thinking. And they have the ability to assess things in life correctly. They blow things out of proportion. Because this way, they are an emotional basket case most of the time. And their entire life is a series of crises. And they don't have a... And if they don't have a crisis every day, they'll even make up one. They will talk about it endlessly and will never be interested in your life, only theirs. Because their life is so much drama. And it's all about their drama. And then we have the person we call the Joker. We say, it's not, it's not funny. Number four, the Joker. And he's not really funny at all. These people are, are usually the loudest one in the room making crude, ugly jokes about others, and they always think they're funny. But they're really pathetic, and no one appreciates their sick sense of humor by telling off-color jokes at someone's expense. They are taking attention of their own feelings, which gives them the confidence what they, that they really lack. And then we have Mr. Negative, or Miss Negative. They are very unpleasant people to be around, considering they are finding fault with everyone and everything. Uh, they have no sense of joy in their life, and if you're in a good mood, their goal is to bring you down. They complain about everyone and everything, and they have a lot of hate and jealousy and deep feelings of insecurity. So they're very negative. They only feel good about themselves when they're putting you down or talking about you. Then we have what they call uh, the moocher. Uh, the moocher is a person that constantly asks to borrow money and everything else that you have. The moocher uh, develops a lost sense of memory when it comes time to pay you back and never able to, to reciprocate the favor can and never do anything for you. It's all about what they need. Then you have the slander. This is one that I find the most toxic of uh, people. They can destroy your reputation and and lies with their slanderous lies. And you know that when you're with them, they will talk about everyone else behind their backs, including you. Then we have the one who enjoys arguing. These people get a kick out of causing others to fight. They initiate fights, they start fight, 
and they always play in the devil's advocate. And they like to get heated discussions going on. And they sit back with a smile on their face and they enjoy the show. Uh, you can always count on these people to state or ask a hateful question just to get the, start, the, start, the fight started. You see these people a lot in younger people, but I've seen a lot of older people like to start fights. Then let's don't forget the bully. These people get a rush out of intimidating and threatening the others. And there are a lot of bullies out here on YouTube uh, bullying people and saying sarcastic marks and threatening to leave or always complaining and leaving negative comments, bullying people. Um, then last and not least, I have the manipulator. These people always have a hidden agenda to me. It's always about control for the manipulator. They actually plan out and think ahead how they're going to manipulate a person or persons to get their wishes or confuse the issue at hand. But most of the time, their manipulation are usually malicious and evil in nature and always very sneaky and cunning in what they're doing. So when these toxic members are, are, are your own family, such as your sister, brother, it could even be your spouse or your mother or father, even your own children, then we know it's hard and then become serious. We know we can't leave our minor children. We all know that. But we can definitely leave toxic relationships at work, on social media, or distant relatives. Because we know what Jesus talks about in the Bible is reading about manipulative people. He didn't say manipul manipulative people, but he told his disciples, if you go to a house and people don't receive what you have to say, he told the disciples to dust off your shoes and leave that town. He said, he told them also, do not cast your pearls before swine. He told them to go where they would be heard, love and accept it without having to jump through hoops to get people to listen to them. Life is too short to be trying to uh, make people be the way you want them to be or to deal with people that don't accept you. The same things go for people uh, in our life, like our friends who treat us real bad. Uh, you can be, you can find yourself around them and say to the same thing and want to do without being in fear of their criticism and put you down and manipulate setups. This is because they are poisonous to us. So we don't need these toxic people in our life. We don't need them. So the bottom line is, guys, we cannot afford to associate with people who are trying to destroy our lives without using a weapon. They are really in destroying your sense of happiness and well-being, your joy, and your peace. And if these toxic people are members of your own family, then God tells you to leave them. You don't have to be around your family members because they are family members. I'm not talking about children who are under 18 years old. We're talking about adults. Um, but if you find that your children are exhibiting some of these behaviors, you probably want to get them professional help before they turn into some of these uh, adults that are toxic and have these characteristics. You know, God promised to provide us with people and friends that are positive in our life and they can be a joy to us and a comfort and a help. Uh, many times your true friends are, are more of a family to you than your own blood relatives. I believe this with all my heart. 